Hey, it's Taps. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're good. I'm continuing my cloning tutorial and I want to give you an update on clone WebEx. I have done one or two tutorials recently about this amazing platform that helps you literally clone any website online and then help you convert it to Webly, Elementor, Bricks Builder. Gutenberg is still in view and is still coming. But in the last tutorial, I talked about Elementor, and uh, in that tutorial, I told you that uh, this literally just works with Elementor Pro. But I have seen an update from them that allows you uh, literally clone any website to Elementor for free. So I just want us to experiment this together and see exactly how this works. So you can check the video description to see a link to this platform. And yes, the uh, as at the time I'm filming this tutorial, the 30% uh, launch uh, offer is still on. And check the video description for you to see a uh, coupon code from me as well that will give you further slash down. You can try to start using this for free. Uh, you have about three exports a month. So you can literally just choose whatever hosting plan suits you. You can experiment first or just buy. Uh, so if you buy, go through the onboarding process, you should be able to go to the app. So right now, let me just launch the app. So I have two projects here, WordPress clone, which is WordPress.org clone. I did that in my last tutorial and then the Bricks clone, which I did for the Elementor tutorial. So you can check the video description to see those tutorials uh, in time past. So I don't want to create a new project for this tutorial. I just want to use the existing projects I have. So right now, let me experiment with the Bricks clone. Let me open this up. Let's just view one of this. This is the clone of Bricks Builder homepage. So if you scroll down, this is exactly what this uh, page looks like. Pretty, pretty good uh, landing page here. However, you can see that some of the images here are not fully loaded and I made a tutorial on that. You need to make sure that the pages, all the pages are fully loaded before you do the clone. Maybe I should just try to do a new clone. Let's check. So this is what this page looks like right now. So let's load to see that every of the element of this page is fully loaded. So you can see this is it. All right, so let's try to do a new clone. Let's use the Chrome extension. Just like I said, let's come to Bricks uh, clone now and let's add this page. All right, so we have another clone here. So let's see this right now. Let's okay. I think this is a better one. All right, perfect, perfect. Okay, so good. Uh, we can work with this page to see exactly what we have. So like I did uh, mention, if you want to clone the entire page, you just need to uh, select. And once you click this, you have this selector option. This portion right now is what we are seeing here. So and, and I like the fact that they have this uh, eye icon here where you can toggle to see exactly what you have copied if you choose uh, this uh, element here. But literally, this is the current selector and this is the parent selector. So this right now, we select the entire page, which makes sense. So let's click this. So this is the code that we need to select this. So like I told you before, you can see that this is Elementor Pro. But if you click this right now, you would see that you have option now for the free Elementor from 3.10 or higher than plus Flex Container. We have Webflow as well, Bricks. Oxygen is coming, breakdance is coming, Gutenberg is coming. So let's experiment with the free. So once you select the free, you will see that it requires you to download an integration plugin. So if you click this, it will download this plugin into your computer. I already downloaded it once. Uh, so that's everything we need to do here. So we need to now click the export button. And then we, we see that this is copied to clipboard already. So that's it for this. So now we can go to a WordPress website where we have Elementor installed. So let me come here. I have Elementor, the free version alone installed. And I also have the integration plugin installed. So right now I will just right click this and I will say paste from other side. And then I will do control V. As usual, this may take some few seconds depending on how large the page you are pasting is. Cool stuff. So we have this page imported. So as you can see here, so we can scroll down to see 
definitely some alignment issues here so we can see this image is off we can uh correct this inside the elementor easily that's not really a problem uh so going forward i think this is still loading uh maybe we should give this some time to load more but i can see that the image here is trying to load but this one is not just popping but we can see these ones now these images are popping the image here is not uh popping uh, there should be a background image or color here really i'm not sure this is image this should be color uh you can see something like this so this is what we should see so it's like a yellow background color here uh, okay let's keep checking uh, so we can see that this itself too is not popping out well the projects are not coming out well uh, wow i'm not sure this is the entire page really so let's come back here uh, there's still a continuation here but that's not copied so let's view this up and let's see so you can see this uh the entire page is not copied uh we might just want to copy the remaining element and paste here but so far so good uh not bad but however it's not a perfect 100 percent clone this space is alarming uh, let's check what we have here this is supposed to even be a video not an image it should be a video or maybe it's a give image i really can't tell exactly what it is so there should be this here uh, okay this but we've got lots of space here oh, the space is really for the video that is not showing really so but i think let's just come back here but no okay not this let's close this uh, let's come back here oh okay let's go to hub again okay so let's uh check the wordpress clone let me see how this would work let's come to wordpress.org let's review this this is good this is good at least uh to a certain these guys are working i want to believe that um they would work more and more and more on this to oh so this is now centrally aligned oh this is beautiful so i want to believe that initially uh this was still uh taking time to load still not popping up just okay so we can see we have this here so uh Let's update this page let's see if the elements are still loading uh it will still take some time for this to pop so we can see i think this is still loading uh this is working really really hard to do all the copy i would not be surprised if every of the images eventually pop when it's done uh, but again i think where we still don't have oh this is done already where we still don't have this is just uh uh this portfolio this project here so let's view this in a new page and let's see exactly what it looks like okay so we still have this alignment issue here i'm surprised why that is uh this image is not popping still uh okay 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 all right so that's what we have uh but this is now centrally aligned here so i'm surprised why that's not popping up there so let's come back here right now let's try to see how we can uh check this out this is the clone version of wordpress.org that i did earlier so clicking this right now let's go for the parent selector let's just copy the entire page uh let's switch this to elementor free let's experiment and then uh let's export this this has been copied to clipboard so let's come back here okay so uh, this is still not popping up here but it's okay let's just close this entirely let me just experiment with a different site entirely okay so now let's paste that here from another side and let's do Control v so let's see how wordpress.org would show with the free elemental version okay so we have wordpress.org here and 
a little bit of alignment issues here as well. This is not well centered, but we can correct that inside the mentor easily. Uh, fantastic, fantastic. Wow. I think this literally uh, worked li uh, the same way the Elementor Pro did work. So this is a very, very, very good clone. This is a very good one. Apart from this alignment issue here, I'm not sure uh, there's another problem here. So let me update this and let's see this on the front end. All right, this is done. So let's come to the front end here and let's do uh, let's screw up and let's do a refresh. All right, WordPress.org is here and this is good. So apart from this, uh, I think this is a good, good, good clone. So definitely, I believe this is a good tool and this is worth the try. So you can go check this out for your desired clone and see what result you would get. So I believe these guys are working so hard on this and they are trying to improve this. I am also following closely to bring you needed update. And finally, before I end this, let's go back to Hub, where I see people have issues uh from time to time is not knowing how to add the project for example if you click this here it will ask you for a project name it will had ask you for a domain i've seen a lot of people or maybe send me an email to tell me yeah they are trying to clone a website but this is not working ideally the domain you had here is the domain of the website you want to clone so if i want to clone uh bricksbeater.io right now I will just copy the URL here and then I'll come back here. I'll paste that here and I just I can call the bricks clone just like I did here. So that once you are copying maybe the home page, the the about page, the contact page, you can add all of them to a project so that you will not keep running on projects. Every of the clone you are doing is limited to the website that you have added to that project. So that's exactly how this works. So I just need to make that clarification for people who have asked me a lot of questions around this and maybe also in the comment section too as well. So that's my time for this tutorial. Go check this out and uh, let me know if you have success using this tool. That's my time for this tutorial. I will bring you definitely more tutorials, experiment with more of your page builders and I'll be updating you over time. Subscribe so that you don't miss out on them. I'll see you in another one. Bye for now.